we'll be using graph colouring to determine the chromatic number for this graph. We'll pick a random node as our starting point and give it a colour, let's say red. And the rule now is that no node that has an edge to this first one can have the same colour. So therefore we'll make this adjacent one blue. And by the same token this one will also be blue since it's connected to the red one. This node has edges to two blue nodes which means it can't be blue itself but red would be a suitable colour. Here we have to make it red because of the blue connection. The only choice here is blue. This vertex has connections to both red and blue meaning we have to introduce a new colour, green. Here blue is needed because of the edges to both red and green. And for the last one our only option is green because it has edges to red and blue. By doing this we've concluded that the minimal number of colours to use so that no vertex has edges to another vertex with the same colour is 3, red, blue and green. That means our chromatic number is 3.